Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. So let's dive into a new game. 1st of October, Sunday. Or did I say Saturday? I don't really know. Welcome, Elite Duelists! My name is Shepard, the Chancellor of Duel Academy. I know many of you are nervous, but you are all accepted based on your merits. Study hard, duel hard, and play hard to become the next King of Games. Congratulations on your acceptance to Duel Academy. To make things official, write your name on this document. Well, we always go by Scott for this channel, so let's do that. So that picks up speed really fast. Like, it's slow, but then picks up speed way too fast, or it, like, skips half the letters. You can actually have quite a big name in this for a GBA game. So you're Scott. Student, your dorm is Slifer Red. Slifer Red dorm is next to the bridge leading to the harbor. Your orientation continues there. Good luck! Welcome to Slifer Red. I'm the headmaster of Slifer Red Banner. And this little buddy is Pharaoh. I'm Jaden Yuki. Nice to meet ya. Hi there. I'm Cyrus Truesdale, Jaden's roommate. I'm Chimley Huffington. I'm like the oldest one here, mainly because I've been flunking my classes. Duel Academy is Slifer Red, Raw Yellow, and Obelisk Blue. There are three different dorms. You're assigned to a level depending on your entrance exam score. Looks like you're in Slifer Red with us. However, there's a test every month to change dorms, so depending on your grade, you may go to a different dorm. If you score really well, you can choose whatever dorm you want. Other than your dorm, you also get a duelist title. The title also... The title has different ranks, Apprentice Duelist, Novice Duelist, Average Duelist, etc. The top rank is King of Games, only one person in the entire school can get that rank. Yeah, we don't need two kings in one school, I'm gonna be King of Games like tomorrow! Yeah, if anyone can be King of Games, I think it'll be you. I don't think, I know, I know I'll be the King of Games, I guess so? <laughs> but to become King of Games, there's more to it than just winning lots of duels. There's a bunch of other requirements. Hundreds and thousands of duels to try to become the King of Games, but it's like, impossible. Hey, I already said I'm gonna be King of Games, didn't you hear me? Becoming King of Games doesn't depend on what dorm you're in. It's all about fulfilling the requirements. In all the years I've been here, no one from this dorm has ever become King of Games. But I said something special about you, yes indeed. Why don't you walk around school and duel with the other students and collect cards? But in order to do that, you'll have to master the controls. If you don't know the controls, select tutorial from the menu before you go to sleep. Select it to learn the controls. You can learn how to construct a deck and learn the controls during a duel. If you want, I can explain them to you. What do you say? No, because it's very simple. If you don't know the controls, select tutorial. You ought to remember that. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm so tired. Okay, we'll go to sleep. And it's Monday! Okay, well, Sunday. Time to go to school. It's time for today's lesson! Let's begin with field spells. Alexis, can you explain it to the class? Unlike normal spells, field spells are placed in the field zone! That's Alexis Rhodes. She's one of the best duels in Obelisk Blue. Make that the entire school. A lot of Obelisk students come from the best middle school dueling academies. They get top grades and everything. Man, I wish I was that smart. Anyway, it doesn't matter what dorm we're in, we all take classes together. I like how Cyrus literally looks like he'd be a geeky loser, but he is dumb. Really dumb. I already told you yesterday, but there's a test once a month to change dorms, and... You there! What are you whispering about? Care to share it with the entire class? Uh-oh. You and that pipsqueak. If you don't care to listen, I suggest you leave. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again, sir. Yeah, that's Crowler. It is a sir. Also, my cat is sniffing my Destiny 2 case over in the distance. I don't know why. He made a stinky face. Messing like the plastic. Ah, oh, man, that was the worst. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you something yesterday. I got some time before class, so I'll teach you how to use your PDA. You can use your PDA in the living room at night, or when you're going somewhere. While you're moving, use the PDA for pressing start. With your PDA, you can edit your deck or trade cards. You can also check your schedule or, or your grades. The You test dates are on the schedule, so you better... You test dates. So you better not miss that. Oh, one thing more. You use your PDA to send mail to people you duel in Duel Academy. To request a duel via mail, all you have to do is select your opponent 
and date on the mail screen. Oh, 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 another important thing. Man, what's with my brain? If you want to stop playing, make sure you save. Select save on your PDA to record your progress. Save before switching the power off. Remember, remember, remember that! You don't know how panicked I was when I forgot my first time. Ah, oh, look at the time. Let's get to our next class. Oh, God. Jaden Yuki, Cyrus Truesdale, and Chumley Huffington. Come on, guys, you have to pay attention in class. Whoa, it's Alexis. Hang out after class, not during, or even better, the weekends. That way you can chill in different places on the island. That's much more interesting than the classroom. Since there's no class on Saturday or Sunday, you can go anywhere on the island. You should find opponents to duel during the weekend, too. It's smart to buy pa card packs at shop to strengthen your deck. All I'm saying is the weekend is the time to play, not class. So, she's literally explaining this huge lecture in class. Swim! Alexis, talk to me! But I think she talked to you more than me. Anyway, to buy cards at the shop, you need dual points. You have dual points, right, Scott? What? You don't? Aw, oh, man, that's not good. You won't be able to improve your deck. All I see are black clouds ahead. Oh, I know. You should go see Professor Banner. I bet he can help you out. Hello, hello. Scott, if I'm not mistaken, your family sent you some money. I've been holding it for you. Don't worry, I didn't steal any of it. Here you go, all 3,000 DP of it. Yeah, we got money. DP or dual points. Use them to buy cards at pa uh, packs at the card shop. You can gain DP by defeating opponents in a duel. You will find people to challenge all around campus. When you're ready, duel many opponents and gain lots of DP. However, don't waste your DP. Use them wisely. Specifically on packs where you don't have all the cards. Woo, welcome to shop. Here at the shop you can buy many packs with your DP you acquired in duels. You can also input passwords to get cards. We don't always sell the same packs. It all depends on the packs or on the time of year you're ranking what cards you own and blah 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 blah. Tuesday is when they get new cards, but they're closed on Sundays. Yeah, we don't need to know how to buy cards. It's Friday. Yeah, and you don't actually have to go to class every day, so... Nobody at the harbor, nobody at the yellow dorm. Ah, uh, let's duel Jaden. Hey, Scott, you're just in time for a duel. What do you say? Yeah, that's spirit. Even my partner's anxious to duel you. Oh yeah, Winked Karibo, if you guys have never seen the anime. You don't actually see it in this game, but... Ah, uh, by the way, a lot of people in this game use Mystical Space Typhoon, Mirror Force, Magic Cylinder, Trap Hole, Bottomless Trap Hole, so be careful. This is at the very beginning of Duel Academy, so you don't have a lot of cards. Upstart Goblin to draw a card, but they gain a thousand life points. So that's a real bummer. No woman of extermination. Start with Man Eater Bug, so he attacks into it and dies. Because Man Eater Bug is a flip effect where it destroys a monster on the field. Oh, yeah, the main game characters have a lot of dialogue that they use when it pops up. Mage Power, oh man. Well, too bad you're gonna be destroyed due to my Man Eater Bug's flip effect. That is right, attack my really weird bug. I kinda miss the artwork of the old cards. Like, the new cards look so anime based. Like, that's not a bad thing, but. Why didn't you use those with Mage Power? That would have made more sense. Legendary Flame Lord, eh? Tribute to the Doom. Double... Wait, is this the uh, one that destroys spell traps? It is. Excellent. I'm like, why can't I activate that? I was thinking of Nobleman of Crossa, which destroys monsters. Trap hole! Oh, I lost my own trap hole. Bummer. But now we can summon Dark Fire Soldier number one safely. All depends on if he has Mirror Force or Magic Cylinder face down, though. Yeah, let me guess Mirror Force. Nope, Magic Cylinder. Honestly, I rather Magic Cylinder over Mirror Force because I get to keep my card. Though I do get to summon Spirit of Flames if he sends our Dark Flyer Soldier to the graveyard. Skyscraper. Okay, that could be worrisome. Oh, he doesn't have any monsters. <clears throat> During his battle phase, what that will do is it'll give... If your elemental hero has less attack than the opposing monster you attack, then he gains a thousand attack points. Or it. There are she's. You know, let's activate Giant Trunade. There we 
we go. Ah, Needle Worm will cause him to lose the top five cards of his deck if he's flipped face up. There, we finally are catching up. Now, remember, you have to duel a lot to get the titles or to even change dorms, so it's a big thing that you do this. Uh, yep, that's going to be able to destroy us. I think it's only during their own battle phase, though. So, there we go. Lose 500. Not the end of the world, though. There's a face down. No idea what that is. I also have the thing in the crater. I forget what its ability is. Let's go destroy and send to the field to give you someone pyro monster from here. That's not really the most useful ability. But we will summon him. As well as special summon the Spirit of Flames by removing from player Darkfire Soldier. Goodbye. And special summon! Flip you face up to get rid of the top five cards of your deck. I feel like I could speed this up in the options. I'll have to check out after this, but... Wing Creeper level 10, Starbucks Galligator, Negate Attack, Polymerization, L... Oh my god! He literally, in two turns, could have got... Elemental Hero Flame Wingman if we didn't destroy, destroy Bird Stinatrix. Or you never know, he might have another one in his hand. That's that. Yeah, Skyscraper only works on his turn. I believe it works for us as well if we had Elemental Heroes. Yeah, and see his dialogue for... Oh, that must be, uh... Hero Signal, yep. He's gonna summon Clayman. Nope, Sparkman. Uh, we don't have a card that can destroy him right now, though, which is really, really sad. But... We do have Tribute to the Doom. Now, we're not gonna get out Legendary Flame Lord. Like, he's not even a really good card. Like, we don't have... The, uh, Ritual Spell in our hand anyway, so... Whatever. And dude, you'd really... D in real life, he does not have more than one Sparkman. Wow, he literally has nothing. Book of Moon. Uh, Book of Moon literally just flips a monster into face-down defense position, so I have an idea for that. I'm gonna use it on my worm. So we'll do a thousand. Beautiful, nice thousand points of damage. Gonna do a nice 750 here as well. The more damage you do, you also get more money that way. Remember, do as much stuff in a duel as possible. 2,000. At this rate, I'm pretty sure it's over. Can't remember if his deck honestly gets any better, though. I almost want him to attack into it. Eh, he's not gonna attack into it. Why did you start me up there? You asked me if I wanted to activate one of my own cards, but you go there. You know where I am. Now I can use its effect again, which probably gives us more dual points. Oh, now we get the ritual spell. That is so weird. Like, that always happens. I never get it when I actually have them. Okay, another five cards. So we lost Heavy Storm, Snatch Steel, Clayman, Wing Karibo, and Magic Jump. All really good cards. Needleworm is actually preventing him from getting any good cards. Attack! Ooh, we're gonna get exactly zero, unless it's Mirror Force. Yep. Doesn't work. Hmm. That sucks. That really sucks. He could actually win this duel now, because now we have no monsters. Man Eater Bug? Well, that's not gonna really do much. Okay, a whole 450. We can, we can deal with that. Burning Spear, if we get a darn Fire-type monster. Cyber Jar. He's doing all these really good flip effect monsters. He made that seem way more epic than it really was. Why do we have the losing music? Also, Blazing Apache just wins this for us at this point. Uh, my cat is being really weird and crawling all over my computer. If anything goes bad, I blame him. Ned, what are you doing? Dude, back up. Back up. No, go away. Guys, he prevents me from recording. 
No, he's knocking over the mic. He's knocking over the mic, guys. No, no. Can you bugger off? Jeez Louise. And a Facebook interruption all in the same episode. Attack! Burn! Ay ay ay. I think after this duel we're gonna end the episode though because we had the entire tutorial. Plus I gotta deal with this cat. He's being a brat and this episode might continue on for a while. Now he's on my mouse. So we got magic jam and that's not a bad card to get. I'll attack cyber charge in case he eventually gets something to flip it face down that could destroy every car on the field. Like, his deck is way more overpowered than it was in the anime. Like, in the anime, decks are literally just dependent on, like, an archetype, and... It's like, yeah, I just randomly got all the fusions I need. Ah, oh, little come here, powers up my fire-type monsters. And also has enough power to actually take down my opponent. So I'm fine with that. Now attack that face-down monster. Ah, it's just Luster Dragon. Why he is Luster Dragon, I do not know. And we'll attack for 1100 and win the duel. Boom. Hey, nice move! Win. Yeah, we got 482 DP. Ah, shucks, I lost. Great duel, buddy. We'll get our game on again. So yeah, anyways, in the next episode, we'll continue our run through all of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me go deal with my pets. Bye-bye.